Ruben Rodriguez, East Lake High School. Obviously, to try to win as many football games as we can. Uh, I think with the experience coming back, that's always our goal. Uh, prepared really well this offseason, so looking forward to the start. Uh, the players that, that, that probably are going to be our best players offensively are our front guys. Uh, we bring back a lot of experience to two high caliber tackles in um, Damien Portillo and Logan Villalba. Uh, obviously, our, the big question is that quarterback, which we're really comfortable with where he's at now in Sebastian Rendon. And then I guess, obviously, if you talk about us offensively, you got to talk about Eli Uribe, who's probably one of the top returning guys in town. Defensively, obviously, we'll return a big defensive end in Caleb Emery. Uh, we've got some, some really good play from um, Hector Hinojos at the linebacker spot. And then our secondary, Three out of the four starters are three-year starters coming back, so we're kind of excited about that. Well, I, I, I want to say I want to be at the top, and that's always the goal, but obviously there's a lot of parity in our district. I think a lot of people had great summers. You know, we did qualify for the state tournament, and those four teams that qualified are all in our district. So, you know, to go to, to compete every week is going to be the key. To be healthy is going to be every, you know, key every week. But I really like the chances of the two schools on the west side just because they, 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 they've got a lot of kids back and play really hard and sound fundamentally defensively especially. And then I like our chances along with Paul Eastwood. Pebble Hills with their trigger guys could be interesting as well. District predictions, well, if I, if, if, if I don't say we're going to finish in first, then I probably shouldn't be coaching our guys. But I, I, I really think that um, with the returns that Franklin has, they, they're in high co uh, contention to win that district. Uh, the athletes, like I said, uh, were uh, on display this summer for Coronado. But I think that, that Eastwood still has to be the team to beat. Uh, they don't return as much as they need to defensively, but they're really explosive on offense. So that'll be, that'll be fun. Thank you